This is Danny Byrne for Ghost Leg Media and Clover City Cells with another quick tip for eBay sellers and internet marketers. Today we're going to learn how to create a custom web icon for your website. You've probably all noticed those special icons that sometimes show up in your browser's address bar or on the tabs of Internet Explorer. They're very good for branding your site and for helping customers find your site from a long list of identical icons for Internet Explorer or in the drop-down list of recently browsed sites. I'm going to show you how I created the camera icon for Easy Auction Photography. I began by looking for an icon in the public domain so I wouldn't have to create one myself. I found one on Wikipedia. It's available for use by anyone and has been released by its maker to public domain, which means that I won't have to worry about copyright issues and using someone else's work. The first thing I did was right-click on the icon and save it to my hard drive in a format that I could work with in my image editing software. In this case, I chose the PNG format. I click Save and then open the new file in PaintShop Pro. It's very important that these internet icons be precisely 16 pixels by 16 pixels. So I use the resize command to make this image match those dimensions. 16 by 16. Then I use the Save As command to rename it so I wouldn't confuse it with the original and I saved it again in the Windows bitmap format. That's an uncompressed file, so I wouldn't lose any of the definition in such a small file. PaintShop Pro does not use the icon format, so I had to find another program which I could use to save it as an icon. I chose IR Fan View, which is available for free download. Go to Google, look for IR Fan View, go to the download page, and then choose one of the many websites that offer it. Once you find the one you want to use, click Save to download it, and then go to the new file on your computer. Double-click it to install it, click Run, click Next, click Next again, decide which, if any, image files you wish to keep associated with IR Fan View. When you've decided, click Next, click Next to install, and when you're done, click Done. Now I'm going to open my bitmap file in IR Fan View. You'll see it's so small that against the dark background it's almost invisible, but don't worry about that. The file is just fine. We open the bitmap file, and the next thing I want to do is save it in the icon format. There are a large number of formats available in IR Fan View. It's very important to choose the ICO Windows icon format. Then change the name to Fave Icon. That's F A V I C O N. You must use this name and format, or this step will not work with your browser. Go to your website and upload the new Fave Icon to your browser's root file. That's the one with the index HTML file. You may find you already have a Fave Icon there. If you do, give it a name like Fave Icon back so you don't overwrite the original, and then just upload your new Fave Icon. The next time you open Windows Explorer, you should see your special new icon in the browser's address bar and on the tabs. This has been Danny Byrne from Ghost Leg Media. I hope you found this tip helpful. For more like it, please visit Clover City Cells, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.